All right, everyone, welcome back. So today I have a fun little redstone project for us. So I'll head straight down to exactly what we're going to work on. Before we get started, I did want to say that I uh, have this resource pack on, which is uh, the, um, I don't even know what you would call these, but the exaggerated uh, bushes and uh, some different little tweaks. It's not much of a big change. You can see there's a new sunflower texture as well, but it's mostly... Uh, vanilla i just figured that the leaves look a little better around here so that's why i put that on but uh aside that that's not the topic for today's video the thing that we are going to talk about today is if we head down to our little tunnel section that we've made um i have this storage room right here and so you can see i've gotten started on it this has been here for a couple of days i just haven't gotten to work on the full design yet but basically what this is going to be is an auto sorting uh chess system but i have a cool idea which i want to explain so i think this could be a lot of fun okay so here is the plan for today so we are obviously going to be creating the auto storage system and uh what i plan to have happen is uh there's going to be um the reason i've called it the central auto sorting system is because uh there is uh several points on the map that i'm going to put that have these water streams like so so if we head up here uh, you've probably seen this in the videos a couple times um i have this kind of container looking thing that looks like a trash can and so basically i have this idea that every time um, I put one of these in the world. So say I put one way over at the city over there. There's going to be a water stream underneath that when I throw items in, the items will land in a water stream and they will get transported um, down into here and they will go through like this whole little um, sorting system up through here. So uh, they're going to go through the water stream and then they'll pop up here using a bubble column and then uh, they'll go into a uh, a hopper which will go into a chest and the chest will have repeaters and comparators and that will uh, measure the block updates through the hoppers um and that will uh we're obviously gonna have to get some filler items to fill in the hoppers and so once the items go into the hoppers and then uh put themselves into the corresponding chest underneath so um it's gonna take uh a little bit of work to get this to work the way I want. That was a hard sentence to say, but uh, it shouldn't be that difficult of an episode today. I don't, it's not going to be like uh, the castle episode where it was 40 minutes long because I worked on it for like 12 hours. This will probably take less than that, um, but it should be a lot of fun. So I say, let's get started. The first thing I need to do is uh, definitely go mining because I do not have enough materials to get this done. You see the greenhouse looks very nice now that the bushes have been updated to that texture and just out here as well like i just feel like these bushes and leaves look a lot nicer now when they have that little uh edge to them the world i don't know something about the world makes it uh makes it look better when i have that stuff so i think i'm gonna keep it and i like it it's not it's not too much you know all right so while i head down here a lot of you guys had mentioned that you wanted to see me do uh, a little bit more mining and whatnot um so i'm gonna show a little bit more of that in the video and that lava is very loud um and so I did also want to talk about just, uh, I was thinking about starting a new series, not getting rid of this one. So um, I'll talk about that first of why I can't see myself ever getting rid of this world. It's just, I've had this world for so long now that like, I can't imagine not playing on this world. Uh, so I won't be starting a new world uh, for modern Minecraft. We're going to keep playing on this one. There's a skeleton down in there. Um, I'm going to go off in... Uh, Let's actually go off and well the lava's over there, isn't it? Um sorry, I'm just trying to think about where I'm gonna mine here. Um I did want to talk about uh the fact that I won't be starting a new series for modern Minecraft, but I was thinking about starting a new series for an older version of Minecraft. So um for those of you who don't know, well not that any of you would know, um Minecraft around beta 1.4 or 1.3 was the the first ever version that I played on Minecraft. So um, that was when I started playing the game. That was back in around 2011, I think that came out, or 2010. I uh, can't quite remember. Such a long time ago now at this point. Um, but that ver those versions obviously mean a lot to me. So the uh, the beta 1.7.3 was kind of the peak of all of that. 
And uh, I do love to play the older versions of Minecraft. I actually had a world um, for quite a while where I was playing the older versions of Minecraft um, and just never uploaded it to YouTube or anything like that. So um, I was thinking about starting that up again for myself um, because I think that would be something fun for you guys. We could have uh, obviously this modern series and then for the people who like the older versions, we could have the, uh, the beta 1.7.3 as well. So um, that's something I might do in the future um, very soon here. So uh, I would say expect that to um, come out shortly. And uh, yeah, that's just going to be another fun little series for us to have uh, because I just, um, if you can't tell, I just love building in this game. It's my favorite thing to do. And, um, you know, it's fun to play the older versions of Minecraft and build with that build palette because it's so different from this modern version. We're very spoiled nowadays to have so many different types of blocks to choose from, but uh, back then it wasn't really like that you had to get really really creative with the uh, the build palette because there was only like I don't know 120 130 blocks in the game and about half of them were building blocks So uh, you're very limited in what you can do with your building when it comes to the colors and whatnot But I think that would actually be awesome um, I think that's a great challenge for me and we could get so creative with the things we could build so I would expect that to Come in the future. I'm gonna plan on doing that soon and I just wanted to say that while I was mining here, but uh, I think I've gotten about just what I need to get. It was just a uh, little trip we need to make, so I'm gonna head back to the surface and we can get started. All right, so first and foremost, I'm heading over here because I really need ice, um, because this is gonna be part of our project. So um, it doesn't really matter what type of ice we're using as long as it's not gonna melt. So I'm gonna grab uh, this whole little glacier here. Okay, we've got plenty of ice, and we can just grab some trees from this island next to our creeper farm. And then we'll head back home, make a bunch of chests, and uh, lots and lots of hoppers. Yeah, I wanted to make it out of a, uh, a different block than cobblestone, so we have a polished deep slate now. So we need to count one block over, and then we need to go like this. So this is going to be the row where our uh, comparator and first hopper are based off of. So we're going to have to place some temporary blocks up there as well so we'll put that as a marker okay minor miscalculation nobody panic we need to go back a few more blocks here uh which isn't a problem so let's clear that out okay so what we need to do is we need to have the two like that but then we need to make a t-shape so we need a row of blocks in here uh which is going to be where our redstone torches are placed and then uh let me just clear that that was an accidental one and then we need to make a t-shape like that so you make the t-shape like this and then just place the one right there so we're gonna put these like this so we have that one block gap in between i should probably clear this first okay so we're gonna make the t-shape like that but we need redstone torches in here so i am going to uh clear this out for now so i can put the redstone torches in so this is where the redstone torches need to be. So uh, I'm going to have to make more, but you get the idea. They're going to be like that. And so we have this shape right now. And uh, in the back is where we need to place uh, the repeaters. So I only have 14 of them, um, but you can place these down here like so. Oh, one short. That's frustrating, isn't it? All right. So I think we have all we need now. We just needed one more uh, repeater for this side right here. Where was it? It was right there. So um, now we need to place the rest of our torches. So I made a bunch of redstone torches for us. All right. And so those are going to be our inverted signal. And uh, then we can place uh, the hoppers are going to go uh, just like this right here. So do that for the top and the bottom layer. Okay, and I am not going to have enough. We're going to have to make some more hoppers here, which is uh, okay. Going to have to, uh, hopefully I have enough iron. I think I should. So we have just enough to do that layer, um, but we're going to have to do another layer across there. So um, now that we've done that, we can replace our blocks in here. Uh, we can create this layer again because that's where our comparators are going to go on top of that. So uh, you want to fill in uh, behind the repeaters as well here. So that's all going to get covered up like that. And so these are going to sit right there. Okay, just had to double check my work. Uh, that is how they are done. So you have the repeater, the torch, and then the comparator is what goes on top here. So that's going to sit uh, right all right, had to check again because I wasn't sure. The comparator is what's going to sit right here. Hopefully I have enough. I might be a little short. 
and I'm one short. Ah, dang it. Okay. Um, and so basically, uh, we're going to need to put another comparator right there. But then you're going to have redstone that uh, just plugs into the back of this here. And so you literally just place it on all of the blocks over here like this. So just make a whole grid of redstone. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, we are going to have to get another comparator. Luckily, I was thinking ahead and I have a crafting table right here. So let's make another comparator, which I believe is just like the following. Very nice. So now we can plug that into the back of our system and we can place this guy right there. And so now we need to make a whole bunch of more hoppers um, to run along this top layer. Alrighty, so material wise, if you guys are trying to remake this in your world, um, that was about 36 iron blocks worth of hoppers, I think there. So uh, it was quite a bit, but uh, it's all being put to good use. So nothing that I'm too concerned about. So now we just have to place uh, these hoppers along the comparator line like this. This is going to be the our um, feed in from the uh, the top layer. So we have three hoppers left over. Um, I am, I think, going to need to at least give myself a little bit more room here. So let's do that. Okay, so I think the system is going to get fed in from right here. So I'm going to have to look at how it's structured in creative for a second. But uh, we'll come back in a, in a bit here. Okay, so this is what we need to do. We need to go up top here to our first one. And you're going to place a temporary block right there. And then we're going to put a hopper right there. So that's going to be our feed in because uh, this is our little input with uh, the chest right here. So you want to place a, uh, a chest on top of here if I had enough room. So we'll <laughs> clear out some more room for us. And uh, then this is just for me because I'm making the central sorting system. Um, so you don't have to do this if you're making an auto sorter. This is just your input chest. But since I'm having a water stream um, activate in here, I do need room above me because the water stream is going to uh, send items in through this hopper right here. So, all right. So we need some extra space on the walls here because this is where our output chest is going to be. So anything that doesn't get sorted into the system or doesn't know where to go is going to be put in uh, these chests over here. So I'm going to make the wall uh, just a little bit wider so that we can do that. And then uh, we'll worry about designing and building it later. So we just want to get the, the redstone system working first before we do that. So this right here, I'm going to have to do it this way. So it's going to go like that. And then that hopper is going to feed into that chest right there. So you can see that's extended one block from that piece right there. So now we can get rid of that uh, placeholder dirt because we don't need that anymore. And uh, this system is pretty much complete now. So if you were to um, feed in items, uh, we obviously have to fill up these hoppers with filler items. So I'm going to get a bunch of sticks and just rename them. Okay, so now if we head back down into here and not hit the crafting table and put these inside of the hoppers, um, that will uh, be our fill item to... Um, basically be... Uh, think of it as like a blockage. Uh, so... When the cobblestone is in there, right, you place the fill items so you can see their name to fill item. And now that is going to uh, help us from uh, whatever, uh, having other items go into the hoppers and uh, whatnot. So uh, you just need to place it on the four. So I'm going to do that for everyone now. So I have brought a bunch of shulkers down with me that have a whole assortment of different items in them. So um, we're just going to put those down and then we're going to take a look at each shulker and see what we want the most um, to be in these chests. So uh, I believe that's all of them, right? That's my redstone one. We don't want to take that one out. So uh, we have cobblestone in here, which we're already sorting. And so next I'm going, uh, well, we need a stack. That's a very important part of this. I am going to do deep slate in that one. So we have cobblestone, deep slate, and then we'll do another stone variant in there. So let's hop down. And so now that everything has been completed and the system will function if you are to drop stuff in it, now we can place the item frames, which will tell you what the block actually is. So let's just uh, set this up on each one of them so that we can see uh, what the block is here. 
Actually, you know what? I don't know why I did it on the bottom block. I should definitely do it on the top block. That's the one that you're looking at most of the time. All right, so I'll light that up for you guys so you can see. So basically, I just did all of the main like building blocks of the world. That's the whole point of this storage system is to just get a lot of the clutter out of my inventory. So um, those are what seems to be taking up most of the space. So uh, now any item that doesn't fit that category is gonna end up in this one. And then we can just come down here and we can take it out of this chest and we can put it into our own sorting. So I'm gonna um, probably find some sort of way to uh, put that in the chest that I want, which I think I might do over here. All right, so now I thought it would be fun to uh, test the system with you. We are gonna have to do a couple things first though, I just realized. Let's turn the lights off as we leave. Gotta save the electricity bill. And now that we're back, we can turn the lights back on. So we have all of our hoppers now, so we can just connect these guys uh, like this, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I actually, I'm not so sure that that's right. I think they need to, we need to go up to this one and then it needs to go like that. Uh, I'm going to input a bunch of cobblestone into the system. This should now uh, load up once um, this hopper fills up. You can, you can see it's up to a stack now. And is it loading? It is not. It's clogged itself. Now, how has that happened? Okay, I found a uh, major issue, and that is my comparators are facing the wrong way. So that definitely is going to cause some problems. So uh, we got to flip those guys around. Very easy to uh, make mistakes like this. And that has now triggered the uh, redstone system. So that is probably going to solve our problem, I would think. Um, which means that these can go back to being the way that they were. So that can be like that. We can just line them up. I can't believe uh, that I made that. Uh, silly of a little mistake there. So uh, those guys are all chained together now. So now uh, let's just make sure this is loaded at 41. Get it up to 41. It's definitely pumping them in the system now. And there they go. Okay, now they're sorting themselves out, which is good. All right, so let's get 41 and put that in there. So now that is functional. So now we should be able to input the cobblestone into the system like so let's use the hopper so that we know that that functions properly and now when this goes down into here you can see it should be putting them in the system now okay good so that was our major issue right there is that we had the comparators facing the wrong way so so let's have uh, a little bit of a design session here so i think what's going to happen now is we need to uh, get this water to travel this way. So I would like to make it nice and far away from the walls so that we don't ruin any of our building. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is put a sign right there. And that's where we're going to put a uh, an ice block. So we'll put an ice block right here. And that's going to keep the uh, the blocks moving. And then we'll place a block there so that they don't go flying by. That'll be our little walkway. And so then we need to place more water because uh, it's going to go this way. This is where the stream is going to go. So uh, the water is going to get placed right here. So uh, the block should go through, slide on the thing, and then it's going to funnel that way like you see right there. So now uh, we got to dig this out. All right, let me place a torch for you guys so you can see. So. That is our block right there that we need to create the bubble column on. So uh, we'll clear that out and we'll place um, one of these guys down in there. And then uh, we have to uh, go up to the block that we need to be at. So we're gonna go up quite a bit here. Okay, so that's where our water stream is now going to go up into that hopper. So what we need to do now is make a, uh, let's just count real quick because we can only travel eight blocks with the water. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and perfect. That's going to land right in there. So now we need to create our uh, source block for the water. So uh, we just have to think about how far we have to go up. So uh, I believe we're going to have to get rid of these guys as well. 
That should get that stream up there, but we should definitely go one more so I can move up there. So clearing that out. And lastly, but not least, those guys right there. So now uh, let's make our water stream. So our system is going to be like this. And then let's get the blocks and block it off. And the reason I'm doing that is because we are going to turn that into a source block, the bubble column. So let's grab our kelp. And now we can place the kelp in here like this. Um, like the following. So now that is completely a source block. So once we break that kelp, it will um, turn it into a source block. But we first have to use signs to block this off. So uh, we can just do the two for now and place a torch. This water will correct itself in a second when we patch this up like this. So patch it up there. So now that's done. And we can break this kelp. And now you will see that this is turned into a bubble column and we can dig ourselves out of here and hopefully that doesn't destroy my redstone, which it doesn't very nice. The water has pathed that way. So um, I'm just going to be very, very safe and make sure that all of this gets completely, completely covered so that the water can't go anywhere else but into that hopper. All right, so I replaced all of that with glass there. Um, we'll make it look nicer in the future, but um, this is just so you guys could like actually visualize how this is working right now. So let's grab uh, some cobblestone and we'll put it in there uh, one by one from right here. So put it in there and then I can head over to this thing right here and you can see the cobblestone enter the system. And I was too slow. All right, so it actually is very quick, so you can see it go up there. So it's a little hard to do this in a way where I will be able to catch it. So I think what I'm going to do is throw it right there and then go over here. And there you go. You can see it go up. So that obviously has landed all the way in here. And that should be in the granite chest right now. Did that? That just deleted my item frame. Dang it. I should have thought about that. Uh, what block was that? That was tough. Well, uh, I'm going to need to replace that now. All right, so now all of that granite should have ended up in there, and you can see it has. So, um, yeah, that is our central sorting system completed, but obviously this room is extremely ugly, so that's our next task is we need to make this room look nice. All right, so let's get our materials. So we're going to need to uh, have some of these, and we're going to need to have some mangrove wood, and we'll turn all of this into planks here. And then, of course, we need uh, the birch wood as well. So we'll grab that. And then I think we need stairs and slabs. Yes, we do. So uh, we have plenty of those. So um, basically, the corners have already uh, done themselves, right? So uh, we don't need to put in any corner block. But what we do need to do is uh, do this wall design. So you're going to start with uh, the four right there. And then uh, I did kind of like this um, backwards C shape right here because that's where... Uh, these stripped logs go uh, in between that space. So I went up all of the blocks that I could like that. And then the two will go in the center there. And then once you use uh, the axe to strip them, they um, match that color very nicely. So that's how that's designed. Or that's, that's how that's designed. That's how that design is made. Now we just need to mirror it. So to do the same thing on this side right here with that backward C shape and then place those two in there and we have that so that's how you get the wall and now uh, you need to make the rounded edges so we're gonna need some trap doors as well running quite low on those we might need to make some more my or in my oh, wow <laughs> my inventory is completely discombobulated right now uh, I'm gonna have to sort that out in a second but uh, so what you're gonna do is just place a stair in each corner like that and that'll give it that rounded shape so we're gonna do the same thing on this side so now we have the rounded uh, shape and then we just want to use uh, a progressively smaller block to get that circle shape so that's why I've chosen slabs and the trap door and so uh, you put the trap door right there on the top half of the block in the bottom half and then what I've done with the trap door is I've actually placed it uh, this way against the slab so that that little uh, door handle is facing the slab so I just go here 
and I just do that and I do it for opposite sides. So I clicked on this block and now I'm going to turn this way and click on this block so that they're alternating like that because I think that's a, a cool way of doing that. Um, and so lastly, you just need to place the, uh, the separation beam right here. So we're just going to place the beam like that and just strip it with the uh, the axe and our final detail is to add the uh, the bolts that which are our support things right there so there you go just some stone buttons and that is how i designed that wall so obviously we have to do the roof as well this is a uh, polished tough and spruce wood which i should honestly have right over here so i chose this block palette because i think this uh grayish kind of yellow color is what suits the best with this birch wood but it also because it has uh you can see there's like that greenish beige color be beige i don't even know that's a hard uh hard thing to say so the reason i've chosen this uh color palette if we get right up next to the blocks here as you can see this kind of color right here kind of matches that right there so i feel like this blends in very nicely with that but then this red also kind of blends in to this birchwood color so you kind of get this really cool transition from the red to the beige to the uh, grayish green that this tough is so i think that's what suits this the best and why i've chosen that and then i went for the spruce wood up top because that's a nice contrast between the bright wall color we have down here and the red wall color uh, for the background of the wall little progress update that's most of the walls completed now uh, we just need to design something for this and then obviously fill in the roof which should be very very easy um, so i think i'm gonna have some sort of little oval design so i think it would be cool if we did something that was like this so we can still access those chests right there and then we'll place a trap door on top of that one and it's going to break that. Yep. So I'm going to have to rethink this here a little bit. I'm going to have to move it back one. And I think that should be fine. So now we can place that on there. And that was the calcite block. So now we can uh, do what I originally had intended, which was something like that. And then I wonder if we took this and maybe did that's yeah that's not gonna work that's gonna be too too large so i'm gonna have to think about this for a while but basically um the whole point is i want to have that same kind of pattern again right here um and then just have a different kind of transition in here i'm thinking maybe if there was something like uh I can line this up properly like maybe if we did something like that that's an oval ish and then we just add the one slab there and then this is all gonna line in here like that anyways so we can fill all of that in and so now uh, when you walk in here you have this cool effect of like there's this oval right here which is uh the central sorting system so now i just have to think about uh i don't know maybe we could even like round that off even more all right so that's kind of what i was thinking and i think i'm also gonna put um i haven't decided yet maybe uh, i was gonna do mangrove trap doors but now that i think about it it would be cooler i think if we did dark oak trap doors because uh, that's a very dark block to go back there so um i don't know you guys let me know in the comments which ones you prefer more and i'll just change it to whatever that is um whichever comment gets the most upvotes about the trap door i'll just switch it to that but for now for this episode i'm going to keep the uh the dark oak all right so in order to add the copper bulbs i'm going to have to turn off the light switch and add a little maintenance door which i'm going to do right now uh so this maintenance door is going to be for the um uh, anytime i want to fix this or i need to come in here and do anything related to that so i'm going to add the door for that so that can go right there hopefully it doesn't look too weird being there it looks you know completely fine and we'll put a sign up there that says maintenance or something on it um but we need to add uh some more lighting in here so i think i'm going to add the bulbs on each side 
So you can see the signal is now off, which means we can edit the lights without it like breaking everything. So uh, the first thing is we need to go and do this one. And then we're going to have to make it go over there, not fall in a hole. That would be ideal if we didn't do that. And then it has to go right here. So uh, we need to travel over this block that missed it by a little bit. So right there. So have it turn that way. So the signal strength is repeated and that should turn it on because you can see it is uh, very dark in here. So we should definitely add some hidden lighting. I'm thinking what we could do is open up these torches and just put stuff in here. All right, so I think we head in here and uh, I'm going to place this. And what I'm thinking we do is we make a cool little chandelier. So I am actually, now that I think about it, I was going to use the chain, but I think the lightning rod would be actually much cooler if we use that. So what I was planning, all right, so I've gone up a block and I'm going to do something like this here, just so it blocks all of that uh, ugly looking blocks. And I'm going to add it right here. So I'm going to do that. And then uh, I just want to see how this looks in the room. It might be too much, but I would like to see um, if that is not that annoying. I think it's fine. I don't think it's that like crazy looking or anything like that. So because of the fact that we have the water running through that whole system, I think it would be a really cool design if it looked like this room had uh, water pipes um, running through here. So. What I'm going to do is the water is off in that direction and I'm just going to add pipes like this across the top so that it looks like this has some sort of, uh, you know, um, plumbing system in this uh, building that's being used over this. So I'm just going to literally connect it like that. I'm actually going to turn this one around so that those two end pieces meet like that right there. And so now it looks like, you know, this area has some sort of plumbing system where the water is running through functioning to that system. Now, one more little trick I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go get some more water and I'm going to put it above one of these blocks. So the water looks like it's dripping. All right. So I think it would be cool if um, we added some detail like this block has been getting soaked and um, it, it just like has become damp and it turns dark. We grab the deep slate and just make it a little bit more of a gradient like this. So it's like that. I don't know. How does that look? I think that looks pretty cool. Yeah, you, you don't really see it all that much unless you're like standing over it like this, looking straight at it. So I think when once you walk in and you see that and you see the water dripping from the ceiling, that's a really cool kind of little uh, hidden little detail there. Okay, so our system is complete. I just finished it and uh, I got to test and see if it works. So you're going to test it with me here. So we're going to throw some items in there that will sort themselves and uh, ones that won't. So uh, we're going to drop all of that in there. I want to test it by throwing a whole bunch of stuff in there. So uh, we'll throw it in there and then we'll follow it and I'll show you uh, the design of how it works it's actually quite simple so um i'm just going to start throwing stuff in there and hopefully everything works according to plan so now let's follow it down in there and it's probably going to be completely gone by the time we get down in there but you'll see uh the structure so everything if i were to throw something in here right now uh it would get launched and it would carry its momentum and keep going and going and going and going and hopefully it doesn't run out of momentum by the time it gets all the way down there. So it pushes everything this way. This is what I was concerned about if stuff was going to get uh, stuck right here. But it looks like it's all continued forward. So by the time we get into our uh, collection room, the CSS should be fully functioning. So that is what this room is. So obviously everything's gone over there and gotten lifted up in the bubble column. And now if we go over here, all of that cobblestone should have gone in and there should be i don't know what i threw in there but some copper ingots and ice and there it is you can see it's loading in there right now so that means the system is completely functional so now we have a fully working automated storage system that is sorting everything for us and we can dump all of that uh uh, natural blocks out in those collection points throughout the world. So any, any time that I need to set one of these up, I just got to make one of those containers, dig a tunnel, 
link it up here and we will have a fully functioning system so so i guess we'll finish off this episode with turning on the light switch and whatnot so um this is where we are now this is the entrance to the tunnel uh, as we make our way down from there, we have to finish that uh, that staircase and whatnot. Maybe that'll be in one of the uh, upcoming episodes. But um, yeah, this is the tunnel right here. And obviously, you just come up to the right, hit the light switch, which turns on all of the lights here for us. And then this is our central storage system. So everything that we need and including all of the extra stuff can be thrown in here. And we'll make some more chests so we have lots and lots of storage for ourselves around here. Uh, to throw stuff but yeah this is the basic outline so far and uh yeah let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the central storage system uh it was quite a uh, a fun project we'll go back in there one more time so you guys can see how everything is functioning so obviously we have the water stream there with the bubble column and we made the glass so you guys can see the bubble column up here of where the items are going which are dropping into this hopper and we have impulse sv's uh lovely auto sorting design back here which is doing all of the work for us with uh all this uh redstone logic right here so uh yeah that's about it for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed and uh, please be sure to like comment subscribe if you are new to the channel thank you to everyone who has joined the channel by the way uh, a massive thank you for now 3,000 subscribers the channel is growing very quickly almost too quick for me to keep up with so uh yeah it's been a crazy week and i can't thank you guys more than enough for that um obviously i made that video with the thank you message so um yeah again so many nice comments and uh i guess that's about it for today so i'll see you guys in the next episode